We often call November the second season for tornadoes and severe thunderstorms because sometimes we get some big tornado outbreaks and some violent tornadoes rated F4 or F5, EF4 or EF5, like this one you're seeing from 1992, rated F4 on that original Fujita scale, hitting part of the Houston metro area. Now, fall is sort of the counterpart to spring when we can get some pretty active disturbances coming through the jet stream, active weather systems, and it's still warm and moist, unstable enough that we can get severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. Now, we don't get tremendous number of tornadoes on average in the month of November. The average is 52. The record, 150 in the years 2004 and 2005. That average of 52 was much lower than the 300 plus that we average in the month of May. Hail reports for the month on average, 120. That's only about 4% of the peak in June and wind reports 470 seems like a lot, but that's only about 13% of the peak in June as well. So it's not as active, but sometimes gets very active when it does get active. It's typically down in the south. This red shaded area tends to be the place where the tornadoes are most likely a little less so in the orange areas. But in 2002, we had an F4 tornado all the way up here northwest Ohio, Van Wert, Ohio. You might remember that Van Wert, Ohio tornado. It collapsed a movie theater. All of the people inside were safe. Workers got them into bathrooms. It was a tremendous success for the warning and preparedness system.